There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy-haired Europeans clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman, Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute.
grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Someone beat us to it here. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. Exactly make it too hard for grave robbers, do they? <laughs> Shush. <laughs> oh, I'm um, sorry. Sorry. I had a, I had a bit to drink. A friend died. They can hear us, you know. You're still with us. You should get yourself home. Something in there. 
Be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side.
Dutch. Ah. Think we lost. Come on, quick! Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him for... Fair. Like I said, would you see where we're at once we got Jack? Let's get this done. Come on, Arthur. You coming in with me? You took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, on, just man. simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. 
You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh... Quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, 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 ay. Cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los
All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Cuando salí Welcome back, de Hermosillo, lágrimas vine llorando. Come on. How about so one? Must be starving, son. Let me get you some Yo things. soy como Thanks, el coyotito. Mama. Can I play with you? Oh, yeah. Well done, John. You got him with that Dutch and Arthur. Me and Dr. Rebajero. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. Mr. Summers. Hi, Lenny. We did it. Well done. That's a way off, all right. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. I think so. Tell us again. Sure. So I got I'm sorry if I was well, I was just worried. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up, man, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come on. All right, all right. Boring bastard. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Welcome home, little Jack. Oh, once I was a maid down in Main Lane. My, my master, master used to beat on me. My, my mistress did the same. To early one more. So good to have you back. Sure. Thanks, I'm glad you're the one that turned me into a dirty little whore. The light him up to bed. He asked me for my hand to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in We did it. Side. Yes, we did. Thank God. He never let me touch my breath. I got no sleep at all. He left me and he did. You mean like a normal family? And they fucked me back. Look around you. Ain't nothing normal about any of this. Yeah, about that. He was born, you die. In between, you do what you do. Ain't no good. Ain't no bad. Nine Just months from now, you'll have a daughter. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night. You ain't joining the party, Reverend? I don't want to ruin it. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You all right there, Mary Beth? Yeah, I'm just watching it all. Go on, have another drink. It's a party after all. Come on, Kieran, join in. Oh, uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Suit yourself, then. See it for what the hell it is.
for me. There is no respect for you, three. On board the Heartland stage, the pull and haul about the seat is bed but two about the sheets. Started as a thieving lad in 1804. Opposition made it fast, people must be covered Misty blood, tobacco, tobacco smoke. The ladies are in health and shit. We dress in tobacco, tobacco spit. The gentlemen don't seem to care. But talk about politics and swear. There's a thief in line in 1849. All opposition made it fast. So the people must have been all die. I've ruined the drivers when they feel inclined. We'll have you walking on the line. Shoulders, Look up, oh, help, help them out some money, money. Oh. They promise when you're pale, you pay. Hey. You'll have to walk only half the way. Hey, hey. with a cunning laugh, you'll have, have to push, push the other half. Started, started as a thieving line in 1849. 1849. A opposition made it fast, so people must do root hog die. Root hog Very good. Good times, Pearson. Uh-huh. I think we're gonna be okay, Mr. Morgan. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. See? what I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. Oh, hello. We are gonna hey. make it. We have a plan. My friends. My loved ones. A plan. It is a real plan. We are going to leave this place, and we are going to find our own paradise, our own heaven, Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world, not this godforsaken dub that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are going to be free. Free. Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch! See heaven! Oh, 